Hey, what's up, everybody? So um, I've been having to do a lot of pivoting lately with, um, I'll say DoorDash. Um, DoorDash in the beginning was one of my go-to apps, but DoorDash has made a lot of changes. But there's one thing, I don't know you know, how DoorDash is going to address this or if, if they're ever going to address this, but there's got to be a way to make these low-dollar orders... Um, lucrative for drivers to to pick up um and and the way only way that i can think of to make it profitable for both the company and the drivers is that if they somehow bundle some other service in with these deliveries to these areas where you know you have these low dollar orders and i, I don't know what they can do but i feel like behind the scenes on the daily all of us on these door dashing well not door dashing but all of us on these gig apps are collecting a lot of data. And I feel like in the future, this data is going to be used to increase the amount of um, the, the, the basically automation and the proficiency of automation. So, um, you know, a lot of times, and this is what I'm saying, a lot of times when I'm in my car driving to drop off an order, I always think to myself, what else could I be doing during this during this drive to make a profit? And I know the company has to think about that stuff too. Um, but you know, sometimes you know, a lot of us, you know, there's no, there's no, there's no uh, shame in cherry picking. I cherry pick all day. Um, when I don't see the market is good for me, I'm not getting out there. So I switch back and forth between multiple apps. I'm constantly. Um, looking for new delivery apps that are popping up that have good reputation, and everything. Uh, there's been a couple of you know apps that I've I've gotten on. They've went by the wayside and and different things like that. But um, you know DoorDash, you know I occasionally you know go to, um, but they do have um, you know some issues, uh, just like any of the other and any of the other uh, gig delivery jobs. But I don't make the maximum uh, profit on DoorDash like I used to. But um, these companies, all these gig companies don't owe us anything. I mean, I know I like to see the videos that are out here with people being critical of companies and all this different stuff. But I always look back at myself and say, OK, regardless of what the company is doing, what can I do to um, make money and, uh, you know, make my life better? Um, one of the things, though, I think I think one of the things that I, I need to really do, though, is that um, once you do start making uh, decent money on these gig apps, you kind of get sloppy and you feel like you're out of the woods and you kind of, you know, you know, may start in, in, uh, incurring more debt or or whatever. But if you can uh, financially manage your stuff so you can be financially free, so you don't have to worry about money as much as, you know, as some people, because there's days when, you know, I go straight up, you know, nine to five or, you know, working 12 hours doing gig delivery stuff. But there's some times where I kick back because um, my finances allow me to do that. Um, everyone is not in the same situation, but I feel like we are in the best time ever because there's never been opportunity like this to earn a secondary uh, income like this. I mean, in the past, I mean, it was really, it was really tedious to try to get another part-time job that would you know, work around your schedule. All these gig apps, um, I can cut off when I want to. Um, you know, I can do things with the family. I can meet my appointments. I can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, I almost forgot I got to do some stuff tomorrow, but, um, I try not to get too critical about what these apps do because there is flexibility, but I just feel like everyone should always be on the lookout, excuse me, for other opportunities to earn money. Um, I always feel like sometimes it is important to still have a full time job and do the stuff on the side until you get yourself out of the hole. Um, I feel like uh, gig jobs provide you with the opportunity to to actually shift lanes and start doing the things that you want to do versus being stuck at a job um, and not ha ever getting around to doing the things that you want to do. I know I've I've known in the past. A year or so, I mean, this has gave me the opportunity to always have something to fall back on. Um, and I'm thankful for that. But I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But um, 
I just feel like I'm trying to, you know, even when I'm driving, I'm trying to think to myself uh, how, you know, how I can make more money while I'm involved. And it's and mo- when you're trying to multi app, you know, you still have the, the deadline of getting to the customer on time and stuff like that. And you want to pe- get people's food right to them. But in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, well, what else could I be doing? So a lot of times, uh, if anybody's out there, one of the things that I think all of us can do, though, is the opportunity is a lot of us can podcast while we're actually doing our deliveries. I know I've done it. Um, I podcast over on Anchor. Um, I haven't been consistent, uh, but I because I've had some technical issues over there. But it's a it's a, it's a good thing to think about, and um, it's important. I mean, sometimes the market is saturated with people covering certain topics, but there is always opportunity to find your own little niche and uh, do a podcast or a YouTube video.